Hi, I'm Dr. Pankaj Chaturvedi. I'm a dermatologist and a specialist here at Transplant Surgeon and co-founder at Medlex. So we often get a query that what are the possible side effects of the hair transplant? Well, we can divide side effects in two parts. Side effects because of the surgical procedure and side effects because of the surgeon, which of course can be avoided. If we talk about the side effects because of the surgical procedure, as we know, whenever there is a surgical procedure, there is some amount of discomfort when surgery is done and after the procedure, some discomfort, mild pain is there, which is manageable. In newer technologies, the latest technologies which are Perfect Eye and FUE, the pain part and discomfort part is very less if we compare this with a traditional strip method because that involves cut and stitching. So when somebody undergoes a hair transplant by FUE or Perfect Eye technique, the pain and discomfort is minimal. Most of the patients, they sleep during the procedure so comfortable because once we give anesthesia, there's no pain. And in our practice, because uh, we use very fine equipment, the punch size, the drill machine, the forceps, they're so fine, mostly customized, that any kind of tissue damage or collateral damage is minimal. That's why more than 90% patients do not require even one tablet of the painkiller after the surgery. So, in a nutshell, side effects of the hair transplant are minimal. Also, if we uh, talk about um, side effects due to the implantation, there is no reaction, there is no, um, this is not a conventional transplant like a kidney transplant or a liver transplant where somebody has to be very extra cautious because uh, transplant is being done. In hair transplant, the roots belong to your own body. So body takes them up, there is no rejection, there is no reaction. So, because of transplant process, there is no side effect because the tissue belongs to you. Then, um, there are side effects because of the surgeon. So, a good surgeon is very precise. The, whenever he operates, he takes care of the blood loss, he takes care of anesthesia. However, if hair transplant is done by an untrained professional, or a doctor who is not certified to do a hair transplant or a doctor who is not a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon, he might give uh, side effects and some of the side effects might be dangerous. So most of the complications and side effects in the hair transplant are caused by poor anesthesia techniques, um, poor operative techniques, um, blood loss, sometimes there is a lot of tissue damage, sometimes there is a uh, uh, collateral tissue injury, there is a uh, injury of the nerves and because of people have a lot of pain, a lot of blood loss, they might feel that there is some weakness and if, if there is a complication because of the poor or wrong anesthesia technique, uh, there are cases which have been, uh, uh, they required admission in ICU and some of the cases have died as well. So it is very important to understand that hair transplant is though it's a very comfortable surgery but this has to be done by a professional and a certified dermatologist or plastic surgeon only because these two specialities are taught about the hair transplant and they know how to do it contrary to this there are centers where poor qualified staff technicians and doctors were um, the doctors will belong to a completely different field. They operate on the patient and uh, they create a lot of complications. So there's no problem with the technique. There's no problem with the car. The driver should be good. So hair transplant is a very safe procedure if performed by professionals and it's very comfortable and doesn't have major side effects. The side effects are very minimal and if we uh, talk about the overall uh, side effects and the level of comfort is very comfortable.